Hello, welcome back to my channel. So the biggest takeaways I had from last episode was Radine is married, Taylor's a little freak, and Chance likes the double dip by sticking it in the booty, then to the JJ without taking two seconds to wipe it off. And because of that, Taylor got a pelvic infection and had to go to the hospital. But we'll talk more about that mess in a minute. Let's start from the top of their scene in the last episode. So Chance decided to meet up with one of his buddies, Daryl, that he's known for over 10 years to go ring shopping for Taylor. So Chance bought Taylor a $150 promise ring while he was in prison. He was working in prison, making $75 a month month and he saved up for a few months and bought Taylor a promise ring but now Chance feels bad for all the drama that has went on with Taylor and her sister Bobby that he's caused since he's been out of prison and I dragged Chance a little bit in my last video for not working but come to find out he actually has a job that he's been working at for a few weeks now and he's making $20 an hour. He didn't say what exactly he's doing but it seems like he's doing some type of plumbing handyman work. And not only did Chance decide to buy Taylor an engagement ring, but he decided to buy three promise rings for her daughters as well to prove he wants to be there for them. And I think that was pretty sweet and thoughtful of him. So after Chance got the rings, he had big plans to propose to Taylor and have this big, wonderful night. But those plans went out the window when Taylor started crying in pain for hours, saying she was having a really bad, sharp pain in her side every time she would take a breath. So Chance finally talked Taylor into going to the hospital. So they took a pregnancy test because they said that can sometimes cause abdominal discomfort. But Chance has only been out for three weeks and luckily after everything that's happened recently Bobby stepped up and showed back up to the house to watch Taylor's daughters while they're at the hospital together and Chance was outside of the hospital crying and stressed out and you could tell he really cares about Taylor and the doctors were assuming if she wasn't pregnant she could be having issues with her gallbladder or have a swollen appendix so she got a CAT scan and it showed she had a bunch of swelling in the pelvic area and they couldn't tell what it was but the doctor said it was so serious they wanted to transfer Taylor to another hospital by ambulance and finally a few hours later Taylor came out smiling from the hospital. She ended up not having to get transferred to another hospital. And she found out at the very last minute what caused it. So Chance said it was a shot in the butt that caused it. And a shot in the butt that fixed it. And Taylor said she learned not to trust Chance when she's drunk. So she ended up having a pelvic infection. And that explained all the swelling in her pelvic area that showed up from the CAT scan. And apparently when she was drunk drunk her and Chance had some anal sex and went right from the booty to the JJ without wiping off and they transferred bacteria from the front to the back and I had a friend that had the same thing happen to them years ago that I actually had to rush to the hospital and she had the same symptoms but she ended up having a coli from it and I looked it up on Google and it says if you go from the rectum to the vaginal area without wiping off or changing condoms, once it hits your vagina, that new in town bacteria might wreak havoc. The bacteria in the GI tract, rectum, and anus should be there because they serve a purpose. And when they're moved to the reproductive tract, they can cause quite a few issues. It says they can contribute to pelvic inflammatory disease, which is what Taylor ended up getting. And it's a condition that happens when harmful bacteria or viruses from the rectum are put into the vagina and they migrate from the vagina to the uterus, the fallopian tubes, or ovaries. And if left untreated, it can lead to fertility issues. So luckily, they caught it soon because Chance was saying he wanted to have a baby with Taylor, but Taylor said she wanted to wait until they got married first. So Taylor was trying her best to sugarcoat it the best way she could. She said it happens from doing multiple sex positions and doing everything aka back to front man let's hope her daughters don't grow up and watch this show now the whole country knows about this mess and if I was her I would have just lied and said it was anything else I would have lied and said it was my appendix or something if that was her and Chance said the biggest lesson he learned he's no longer going to get Taylor drunk because then apparently she gets super wild in the bedroom and wants him to go in the back door and tie her up and Taylor must have got some medicine because she was back to her giggly self after leaving the hospital and it seems like she felt a lot better. 
literally chance and taylor had their own episode of sex sent me to the er in this last episode of love after lock but that goes to show how fast that infection spreads because they literally said they had just did it the night before and then literally the next day she was in so much pain she had to go to the hospital i'm glad that they actually went to the hospital because at first i thought she was just gonna diagnose herself from google when she started googling what it could possibly be but i think luckily she got scared went to the er at least she's feeling better now i think chance wants to say oh we learned not to get her drunk no the biggest lesson is don't go from back to front and i'm not judging anybody for going in the back door do you boo boo but next time you need to take a shower before you go back take a shower then go to front or just end things off by going in the back door and then be done after that but that's it for this video let me know your thoughts about everything in the comments below make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching